Hey folks, Doug Henson of Constellation Research, and it's that time of year again, shortlist update time. Constellation publishes more than 140 shortlists. They're your free guides that help you uh, narrow down your tech selections and save you time. Uh, I'm updating nine of my shortlists uh, with this round here in August 2024. And today I'm going to talk about four of those shortlists, all focused on the area of analytics and BI, one of my favorite topics. So let's uh, kick it off here and we'll start with multi-cloud analytics and business intelligence platforms. Here we're looking at analytics and BI platforms that are offered as software as a service or managed services on two or more public clouds. Uh, the multi-cloud options bring analytics to your center of data gravity, re reducing the friction and cost involved in data access and data movement. And on the list for 2024 are Domo, which is available both on AWS and Azure, Google Looker, which surprisingly is available as software as a service on AWS and Azure, as well as Google Cloud, MicroStrategy, which is a container-based um, managed service available on uh, three or more public major public clouds, SaaS Visual Analytics, part of the VIA platform, also container uh, managed service, and then ThoughtSpot, available as SaaS. Uh, ThoughtSpot Cloud is available on AWS and Google, and also has a marketplace offering on Azure. Uh, on this list, a drop from this list uh, that's been on the list in the past was IBM Cognos and Spotfire. Haven't seen a lot of investment from them, so uh, they're off that short list for 2024. Next up, Augmented Analytics and Business Intelligence. Here we're talking about uh, computer assistance for analysis. So smart data discovery and analysis capabilities, including automated discovery, recommended tables and sources, recommended visualizations. Also looking there at intent-driven uh, recommendations based on behavior patterns uh, seen in the use and, and uh, usage and access to data, and how, how and where it's, uh, data is being used by user, by group, by role. Um, uh, by permissions and item popularity and data source popularity. And then finally, integration of can't escape it, cutting edge generative AI capabilities. Here it's, it's being used for code generation, for data prep, and for natural language based query analysis and explanations. And on the short list for 2024, a new player, First time on one of my BI shortlists, Amazon QuickSight, which uh, has added Gen AI in the form of Amazon Q in QuickSight. It was actually formerly QuickSight Q, now part of the larger Amazon Q Gen AI family. Uh, this is the uh, availability of that Gen AI service within QuickSight. A longtime members on the list also pursuing Gen AI would include Power BI, Microsoft's product, Oracle Analytics Cloud, Clicks, uh, ClickSense, SAP Analytics Cloud, Tableau, and ThoughtSpot. Next up, let's look at embedded analytics. And here I'm, I'm not talking about just amp embedded analytics for ISVs and software as a service companies. There are so many different types of companies now that are developing internal or customer phasing software or services. They don't even consider themselves to be software vendors or SaaS vendors but here they are in need of embedded capabilities. And there we're looking at microservices architectures, fine-grained REST APIs, software development kits, so you can flexibly embed data, metrics, visualizations, dashboards into a range of applications and, and services. And also on the, more on the cutting edge is support for DevOps approaches that really bridge the gap between development and operations and help you automate uh, continuous integration and continuous development. So on my short list for 2024, embedded analytics would include Domo, Google Looker, Microsoft Power BI, ClickSense, SciSense, Tableau, and ThoughtSpot. And uh, dropped from this list uh, this time around was MicroStrategy and Oracle Analytics Cloud. Though I did add OAC to a new list that I have in the BI and analytics category, and that is embedded analytics platforms for cloud applications. Here I'm looking at uh, deliver a platform that uh, has an approach for managing application data and embedding visualizations, KPIs, dashboards into key decision points within 
ERP, CRM, HCM, and other cloud-based applications. And this gives you a unified data modeling, access control governance uh, approach, and two-way contextual interactivity between the apps and the analytics. And on my short list here for 2024 is Infor Burst and its integration with Infor Cloud Suites, Microsoft Power BI and integrations with Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Power Apps, Oracle Analytics Cloud uh, and uh, its integrations with Oracle Fusion Cloud applications, SAP Analytics Cloud and its integrations with SAP applications, of course, Salesforce CRM Analytics, uh, obviously, part of uh, self well embedded within Salesforce apps. And then finally, Zoho Analytics uh, embedding within Zoho applications. Well, that's it for my latest analytics and BI shortlist updates. To see all of our shortlists, visit constellationr.com slash shortlist. And I wish you the best of success with your tech selections.